you were to get up and look in a mirror, you'd probably see at least one freckle on your face, since freckles are most commonly found there. But if you're the one in 10 that has or have had a birthmark in your life, you might see that as well. But why do we get freckles and birthmarks? Birthmarks, appropriately named as they are marks that appear on your body close to your birth, come in various shapes, sizes, and types. But the two we'll be focusing on today are hemangiomas and port wine stains. Hemangiomas are the most common type of birthmark present today, and they are essentially bunches of tiny blood vessels that grow in one area. These birthmarks are usually raised and prominent, but they rarely hurt and don't cause any sort of illness. The cause of a hemangioma is unknown to date, but the other type of birthmark port wine stains do have a cause. The name port wine stain originates from port wine, a drink that is red and matches the color of the birthmark. This birthmark is seldom raised and is caused by a lack of nerve supply to blood vessels. This in turn causes blood vessels to dilate and for blood to pool, causing the reddish colored birthmark. But if you're the 90% of people without a birthmark, this information doesn't necessarily apply to you so much. But our next topic, freckles, might. Many people have freckles in some quantity, but if you're a redhead or have a fair complexion, you are more likely to have freckles. The cause of these little brown spots? Melanin in our skin and genetics. Genetics say that if your parents have freckles, you're likely to have them too. The gene variant MC1R determines freckle quantity and can be passed down from generation to generation. The other cause, melanin, is the dark colored pigment in your skin. Freckles are caused when melanin doesn't get evenly distributed around your body, but I'm sure you've heard that sunlight causes you to get more freckles. Is this true? Science says yes. Melanin is your body's natural sunscreen and acts as a shield against the blazing sun. When UV rays given off by the sun come in contact with your skin, melanokites, the pigment producing cells in our skin, produce more melanin in an attempt to help your body. So there you go, our skin can look different and it can be painted with many things ranging from birthmarks to freckles, but now you know why we get these things. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to see some other content by Science Saturdays, be sure to click on the pictures below. And just a heads up you guys, I will be putting out a Let's Talk episode pretty shortly. If you guys don't know what Let's Talk is, or if you're new to the channel, it's the series where I, Science Saturdays, get to talk to you guys, my viewers, about updates occurring on the channel. And just a quick reminder on top of that, if you guys remember, the Let's Talk episodes don't come out necessarily on Saturdays, they just come out during the month whenever I have free time to do so, and when I have a lot of updates to deliver to you guys. So once again, if you enjoyed, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Science Saturdays, bringing free education to the modern world.